when you're looking to uh, write the equation of a line with that, you have two choices. Uh, you can do it visually and with your calculator, or you can do it uh, by hand. I would definitely encourage you to do these ones by hand. I think they're easier than doing it with your calculator for these types. It's just a matter of organizing the information, though. Okay. Remember, there's three different forms for writing the uh, quadratic functions. Now you have standard form, you have vertex form, and you have intercept form. The fact that this first set of problems is giving you a vertex means you're probably going to want to use the vertex form. And if you recall, vertex form is y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k, where h, k is your vertex. Okay, and so because they give us the vertex, we can take this equation right here, and we can plug in the h value, which is 5, and the k value, which is a negative 4. And so we have this portion of our equation. All we need to find is a. And so the two ways that you can find A, again, by hand, which I'll recommend, or using your calculator, which you can still do it. It just it, it might be a little more confusing and more work for what you're getting out of it. And, but if you can do it by hand, that's probably ideal. So here's how you do it, this by hand. Again, and it's very simple, and you shouldn't even really need to use your calculator unless you use the solve feature of it to simplify your calculations. Hey, but once you figure out this generic form where all you're missing is the a value, all you need to do is plug in the x and the y coordinates of the given point. So here's our given x is 1, our given y is 20. If you just plug those two values in and solve for a, you can come back here and rewrite your correct answer. So if I took that 20 in for y, leave a because that's what we're solving for, plug in a 1 in for x, and then solve this. So we add 4 to both sides to isolate the expression containing the variable. Continue to expand and simplify. Negative 4 squared is 16. And then isolate the a completely by dividing both sides by 16. And if we reduce our fraction here, uh, 8 goes into 24 and 16. So 8 goes into 24 three times. 8 goes into 16 twice. And so here's our a value, 3 halves. And so all you have to do now is plug this back into that equation and you have your answer. So 3 halves times the quantity x minus 5 squared minus 4 and that is your answer. So you can see it's relatively painless as far as the calculations go. And now if you instead would prefer to solve this using your TI-89 you still need to begin with this this step right here. You still need to be able to interpret the vertex form so in that case, you'd start with the same thing. Okay, but in order for you to find A, if this was the case, what you would do is you would plug this into either your calculator or Excel okay, to find the A value of your standard form. And the way that you would do that, you need three points. We only have two points. So you would have to use the understanding of the symmetry of a parabola. And what that means is, if you look at this graph, you have a vertex at 5, negative 4. You have one point at 120, so it's going to be somewhere way up here. And so your graph is going to look something like this, right? Don't know exactly, but I mean, that's an approximation of your graph. Well, because a, um, because a parabola is symmetric across this, line of symmetry, which is a vertical line passing through your vertex. What that means is this point right here is going to be mirrored or reflected across this line of symmetry over to this other side. Right? And so you can find, you can easily find the coordinates for that point. It, has, it shares the same y coordinate, so 20. And then to find the x coordinate, you simply see how many units to the left did this point move from our line of symmetry. From 5 to 1 is how many? Four. So we're going to use four. We're going to move four units to the right as well. So four units to the right of five is nine. And so if you're going to use the, um, if you're going to use your graph or your calculator or the Excel to find this, here would be your three points that you'd use. And so if we were to if we were to plug those in. 
Okay. You could type in those points. So we have the point 120, we have the point 920, and we have the point 5, negative 4. Once we enter these, we can use our, uh, or we can highlight the data, insert a scatter plot, right click on one of the vert or one of the points and add the trend line. Identify that we want it to be a, uh, a second degree polynomial or a quadratic regression. Display the equation. But really all we're interested in is the A value. 1.5 is 1.5 equivalent to what we got by hand. Yeah, 3 